I became deaf when I was in class two. Due to an illness, my ears developed some problems. I was hospitalized for a prolonged period and ultimately lost my hearing. My wife and I communicate normally. I have been teaching her sign language and now she can grasp quite a lot. For example, if I finger spell the word hen, I would show them how it is signed. Then they would communicate with me normally. They understand me well. I was working at a place where they made paper for printing. When COVID hit, our boss decided to downsize and some of us were made redundant. I thought it best to leave Nairobi and go back to the countryside. I found some friends who ran a farmer's group and I decided to join it. I learned a lot and was really empowered by FAO. After several training sessions with FAO, I chose to focus on poultry farming. Uh, we are working with young people uh, between the ages of 18 to 35. And our overall objective as a program is to create decent rural youth employment. People with disabilities was a very unique opportunity for us as a program. One, because it gave us an opportunity to work with a group of young people that we have not worked with before, but also it gave us an opportunity of trying to create visibility and giving them a platform of how they can showcase and communicate uh, what they are able to do in the agricultural space. Our vision is a barrier-free and inclusive society for all. Our mission is uh, to impact skills on persons with disabilities yeah, in the CI community. We work with smaller groups you know, as self-help groups in the villages. We identify needs of persons with disabilities, we refer them like to the hospitals, to educational centers, we offer vocational trainings. We do uh, agribusiness to our members. We don't work in isolation. Like for instance, Steve, Steve has a wife who has no disability. There are neighbors around, family members, who are also interested in, in giving support to see that uh, uh, they succeed. I'm a hustler. All I do is business, as I help him into poultry farming too. We enjoy farming so much. It is the backbone of life. We do it and we love doing it. So from it, we get something to support our lives. And we take it very positive and we love it so much. They have been in entrepreneurial uh, work before. We came in as FAO, we saw the need, and procuring inputs for them was more or less like seed capital. It was to jumpstart, or rather, to give them that boost that they needed. Since I started this project, my life has improved for the better. I started with only one chicken. It hatched 15 chicks. When they were big enough, they laid eggs, which I sold and made some profit from. I used this money to pay school fees for my daughter, who is in a boarding school for the deaf. I also used some for family medication. I want to add more chickens when I get enough funds. For a long time, persons with disability have been marginalized in, in CIA, just like in other countries. But uh, the government has highlighted the position of persons uh, with disability so that uh, we ensure efforts towards mainstreaming in all aspects of development. I really look forward to expanding my poultry farming. 
If I get everything I expect from this project, I will be well off.